Uh, this is my modeling uh, tutorial part three, where I'm going to start with a cube and maybe model a spaceship and show you uh, how this bevel tool works again, just as we saw in the previous video that I made, part two. This would be part three. So I have a cube. I'm going to make this editable because I like to start a ship with kind of a soapbox looking shape, just like this. And what I'm going to do, because I've made it editable, now I can access these modes, which I'm going to go to Polygons mode. And I'm going to click on this face, hold shift, and also click on this face. So now I have two selected at the same time. I'm going to get to my move tool for a moment here. I'm going to move my mouse all the way over here, and I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to bevel, and with um, the keyboard commands now, I'm going to hold control, moving away from these yellow faces over here. Move, hold down control, hold down your left mouse button, move my mouse to the right, move to shift while I'm still holding the mouse. I can go up or down here. All right, so I got that. And I'm just going to take my move tool now and move these faces back. And again, I'm going to right click and bevel. I'm going to hold control, hold down my mouse, move it out again maybe this much here, and I'm going to use my scale tool maybe and scale this down. All right, looks good. Let's see, should we move this up? Okay, again, I'm going to right click and bevel. I'm going to hold control and coming out like that. I'll scale that and move these faces maybe. Okay. And maybe one more time, bevel. So I'm going to do it this one and another one like this. I'm going to scale. Let's see. Like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to select this face. I'm going to right click and bevel and holding control, holding down my mouse button. I'm coming out, making the nose of this ship here. All right. I might scale that a little bit more like that. And I'm also going to take a look. If I click on my middle mouse button, I can go to um, maybe the front view here so that I can just move this face down. I want it to be level with the bottom of the ship. I'm going to come back to this face. Oh, I must have made an extra face there. OK. Let me. Uh, Must have beveled by mistake, so I'm just going to undo that and rescale this. And again, come back to that front view. And move it down. There. You get nice and close, just make sure that's right. Okay. Coming back now. Okay, uh, let's look at the cockpit now. So I'm going to select on this face. I'm going to come over here, right click, bevel. Now I'm holding control, holding up my mouse, doing this. I'm going to just take my move tool, I'm going to move this back a little bit. Okay, now I have two faces I'm going to select at the same time by holding shift. I'm going to right click and bevel. I'm going to come out and maybe make some type of an engine. And this is where I might try something different. Instead of holding control first, I'm going to hold down shift first to be able to go a little smaller. And then again, shift down a little smaller, push in a little, and then I'm going to sync with control. So that was a few bevels there. Okay. Um, I like to take these faces too, and I'm going to Hold shift first, hold down my mouse with this bevel tool, and then sink in. Okay. All right, next. The windows. I'm going to hold shift and click on all three windows. I make a window. Notice they're all attached. These faces are attached. 
what if I wanted to bevel these three faces but have them bevel separately? Well, that's where, while you're on the bevel tool, this comes into play right here, this preserve groups. If I turn this off, check that off. Now, the next time I hold uh, control, notice that they'll move separately, right? So I'm going to not start with control. I'm going to start with shift and move down, move my mouse to the right, let go, and then control in, and maybe just one more time like that. Okay. All right, next, maybe I'll just do something quick up here, right click and bevel. Come to a little bit of a point or something. Okay, I could still, you know, I'm using my scale tool and move tool. Uh, all right, I see some parts here. I'm gonna add some type of a, a weapon using these four faces. So I'm going to select all four of these faces at the same time. Okay, holding shift. And let's see, what if I scale them up just a slight bit. And I'm going to now right click and bevel. And it's right here. I'm going to hold control. There we go. Okay, all right, next. Uh, sometimes I do some things with the hood here of the, the ship on the nose. I'm gonna right click, uh, sorry, I'm gonna hold down control with my bevel tool, move the shift again, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll come up like that. If you see flickering, it means that your faces are crossing over. So try not to have any flickering. And maybe I'll just take these four faces here. Turn off preserve groups. It's already off. I'm going to hold shift first for this one. I'm going to sync. I'm going to come up maybe. Okay, it takes some getting used to. So the more you use this, the better your ships, or the better your models will come out. It takes some practice. Uh, so again, these side ones, I'm gonna hold shift first this time, hold down right click, come out a little maybe. I like that, okay. All right, so. Um, I'm going to get to the move tool. I'm also going to get off of this phase mode and I'm going to go back to polygon mode here. Oh, sorry, model mode, they call it. And you can see this is my finished ship. So that started with a cube and it's become this. Now let me show you a little trick. I can preview what this would look like as a smooth shape. So this might look more Terran based, more human based, but watch this. If I add. Um, if I hold down this subdivision surface area right here, there's a whole bunch of things we'll get into later, but here is the subdivision surface. This is the tool to make things look smooth. So I'm going to get this, and notice it comes over here. It looks like nothing happened yet. That's okay, but it has um, appeared in my objects manager, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the cube, the word cube, I'm going to hold down the word cube and drop it into the word subdivision surface. When you do it correctly, you'll see a down arrow. If you see a left arrow, that means you're moving it either above or below the subdivision surface. So let's try that again. I'm going to hold down the cube and drag it on top. I get that down arrow and drop it. And now you can see what this looks like as a smooth shape. If I click on the subdivision surface, there are some things you can change. You can make it a little bit more smooth. So the subdivision editor can go up to a three. Now I don't recommend going any higher. You can see the amount of faces it has already. But now all of a sudden this ship looks more alien-like because of that uh, the, the kind of the smooth uh, nature of it. So subdivision surface or dragging it back into the subdivision surface 
clicking off of it and selecting it. So I hope this um, tutorial um, let, uh, allows you to model yourself now. Give it a try. Good luck.